and welcome to episode 8 of Train Spotting. Right after, isn't that great? There's a 390 approaching, a 185 leaving, and a 150 leaving, which is going to obscure our view for a moment. Meanwhile, there's a class 156, the 1627 to Barrow and Furness. Number 156, 425. There's Duncan. Pretty action packed. So there's the Virgin Cavalier, and that is the Matthew Flinders or something. What was it? Matthew Flinders? No. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Class 390, number 152. And that is the Class 390, number 020. So that's a shorter nine car. As our train is delayed today, we have time to film a longer episode. So a train delay, for once, is a good thing. It's also a very rare thing, unlike school bus delays. <clears throat> so, can we zoom in? I always forget whether you can zoom in or not, I can't. I'm okay, if you look... Yes, I'm a gummy bear. There's Duncan gummy distracting gummy you with a gummy bear. Gummy 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 while we fill up time waiting for something interesting to happen. If you look very carefully into the concourse, just by the Pendolino, you can see a class 175 Caradia, Arriva Trains, Wales. And a Sprinter over there on platform 10. Can't really see if there's anything on platforms 11 or 12. So as usual, we are at the end of platform 13, 14. This is just a convenient place to be as our train literally arrives here. Which is always signals the end of our video. I've decided I'm going to... I'm going to actually bother editing this after all. So if you may have noticed from the last video, I had that little rolling shot of the 67. Just to feed that long running 67 joke, I think I'll just have it that every time I try and get a shot of that 67, a different one each time for the kind of end bit. There's a class 185, Desiro, first Trans Pennine Express service to York. Aww. That is a love heart. You can see Duncan is indulging himself in a little bag of Haribo Star Mix. Can I have one? And he's got Oreos as well, brilliant. By the way, it's the end of term, we're on holiday now. Yay. Doesn't feel like it. Yeah, because it's a Tuesday and it's been normal lessons all day, the excitement hasn't Not really me. kicked in. I had a party. Yeah, but the excitement hasn't really kicked in. I suspect it will kick in tomorrow morning when we wake up, be like, oh, I don't want to go to school, I want to go back to sleep. Oh wait, I can go back to sleep because I'm on holiday. You know when you wake, when your alarm wakes you up and you feel like there's nothing you want more than to be able to go back to sleep. The great thing is, if you leave your alarm, if you leave your alarm on by accident, you actually get back to go back to sleep. Although in fairness, it's better just to not set the alarm in the first place because I have my alarm on a loop. I have to manually turn it off to make sure it doesn't go off. I did remember this time though, so no surprise waking for me. This is an orange gummy bear. Or should I say that was an orange gummy bear? Meanwhile, there's a cross country. It's quite far in the station. It's normally further in this direction. It's a class 220. Just a standard Voyager. Not quite sure where it's bound for. Look at this side of the station. It's quite far in. It's on platform 3 or something. Whoa! No, it's definitely going to be blown over today. Not quite sure where it's bound for. It's very windy today. It's been on and off. Can you see the blind from here? I can't. There's a cross country service to who knows. Come to think of it, since I am I've started editing these now, I can just cut, can't I? Bye. Hello and welcome back. A sprinter is now approaching platform 13. No, platform 14. Not that kind of sprinter. Oh no, it's not approaching platform 14. My bad. It is coming in at platform either 9, 10, 11 or 12. It is 150, number 140. Sprinter, uh, it's uh, heading a service. The back train is a class 156 super sprinter. Number 461 Arriving in at, look, it's heading into 11 or 12 
11. 11, you should know. It's still, the switch is ahead. Could be either. 11. 11, okay, we'll take your word for it. It's joke time. So, for those of you watching it, you're probably train geeks, otherwise you'd probably be bored to death like this, which is why you'll probably understand this joke. So a guy is training to be Superman, and he's in Sigmund training school. This isn't actually a thing, but it's a joke, so go with it. Also, oh, you see that? You know, out of all the time I've spent here, I very rarely see them change a junction. Did you hear that? You heard that, right? That noise. I don't think of it. I don't think we've ever been this far up before. Okay, I'll pause the joke for now, because there's a 170. Three That's ours, no, it's the one, three class 171st Transpennine Expresses. Woo! Meanwhile, there's the there's the 175 Caradia I was talking about before. I think it's heading from Milford Haven out of platform eight there. It's only two cars. Quite short. But it's probably one of the longest distance trains here. The Milford Haven service. One of them. It's going all the way to South Wales. That's headed, probably Hadfield. Well, today David going to tell us a nice joke. You're not hosting, Duncan. You're featuring. Okay. So the guy, so the guy is training to be a signalman, attends signalling school, which isn't really a thing. By the way, none of what I'm about to tell you is actually true. But uh, he's learning. There's four types of signals on the four most pro predominant types of signals on the na national rail network. There's type 1, type 2, type 3, and type 4. Type 1 are two, three different variants of the electric, you know, on and off green and red signals, like the ones you can see all around here. And the type 4 are those old swingy signals. So, uh, the guy asks, and which one of these signals uh, are most predominant, are most common on the network? And the guy says, well, you've got basically all of them, I mean. They're all kind of the same. There's some are one, some are two, some are three, and some are four. Get it? Semaphore? Because the, they're semaphore signals. You don't get them anymore. They're on steam trains. They're like the ones that flick up and down. I made that up, by the way. Here's another joke that I made up that I can actually hasn't heard before. So, uh, two travellers want to traverse. It's the year 2025, by the way. They want to travel from North London to South London, not using the underground, but using National Rail. So uh, the guy's setting out his options. He asks, and the other guy asks, "So how can we, how can we get there?" And the guy says, "Well, we can go via Crossrail, or we can go via Thameslink." Go via Thameslink. Go via. Ah! Go via. Go via. Go via Thameslink. Yeah. There's a class 150 arriving in at, god knows, platform 1 I think, yeah. I can't really see from here. And there's a class, oh yep, yeah, there's more trains approaching, so that's the end of joke time for today. <laughs> Go via Tames Link. <laughs> it was funny. Actually, come to think of it, that doesn't make sense, because Crossrail goes east to west. Oh, what the heck? There's a class 221 Super Voyager cross country service arriving in a platform 8. Which. which. Because it's 221, it says. And. Which we'll later head off towards. Um, what's it? Plymouth. There's the crew by Manchester Airport train, the 46. Which at this rate is going to leave before our 29 train, which wouldn't be very good. That's arriving in at platform 9. Meanwhile, a train is approaching our platform. It's not ours, unfortunately. It doesn't stop at Heel Green. It only goes straight to the airport. And it is made of a Northern Class 156 Super Sprinter. I'm a pacer. Number 491. And it is, in fact, heading a pacer. That's your phone. Your phone. Oh! So 
once again we enter a period of quiet. There's the one. Oh, oh, the 390 is leaving. That is class 390, number 154, and we'll be able to see what it said on that label we were wondering before. So that's leaving bound for London Euston, obviously, because that's the only place Virgin go to from here. Virgin Trains, that is. Dirty minded. It is an 11 car variant, number 154, Matthew Flinders. And yeah, it says Flinders on the little golden plaque. I'm not sure who Matthew Flinders is, but he must be a pretty great guy because you've got a train named after him. It goes bound for London Euston. Nineteen or one five four, Matthew Flinders. No, oh, I got it wrong again. What is it? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to rewind. Never mind. You know what it is. David, yes. I'm very angry. Why? Because she heard your joke. <laughs> Brilliant. She's like, what the hell was that, David? Which one, the semaphore joke or the go via Thames link joke? The go via I think it's quite funny actually. My mum said it was rubbish. There's another class 323 arriving in at platform something towards that end of the station. Yeah, Meanwhile, yeah, yeah. the 156 band for Manchester oh, Airport, not God. calling it Heald Green, is leaving. It is, like I said before, number, class 156 Super Sprinter number 491, heading the, the, the 1637. Behind it is a different train, a pacer. Duncan's reaction of paces. There it goes. That's 142 number 003 Pacer. Yeah. Due to be scrapped by 2020. Yay! Hopefully. Duncan is not a big fan of Porterbrook Rail right now. They're the ones trying to keep the paces in service, by the way. If they win, I swear, they do not know what's coming for them. That's ours, I think. 12 minutes. So hang on, what time is it now? Check on your phone, because I can't check the time while I'm filming. I can. Uh, I'm just going to end scene now. Bye. Trains, class 158 bound for Liverpool Lime Street. It's an express sprinter. Shut up, Duncan. It's class 158, number 847. Two of them, in fact. Bound for Liverpool Lime Street. In from Norwich. And that second one is 788. Meanwhile, there's another 323 leaving and here is our 350 trains the delayed 1629 bringing the official end to this video thank you for watching please subscribe check out duncan's channel in the description bye safety information is displayed above the entrance doors throughout this train please familiarize yourself with the location of the emergency exits and equipment in your carriage